We're more than halfway through the year, and I am not, not halfway to my goal of 100 quilts. Not a problem, but it's time for a mid-year reset. Come on, I'll show you how I'm cranking things into overdrive. Hi, I'm Amy, and I make things. Today, I'm making a date with the timer, and I'm going to see how fast I can cut and assemble an entire quilt. I've been in the weeds lately and couldn't find my spark, my mojo, my sojo, if you will, and that happens to all of us. So over the past couple of weeks, I took myself in hand and I did all the things I've recommended in past videos. You can see those here. I evaluated where I am, where I want to be, my timeline to get there, and what's required to take those steep steps, so I broke it down. This involved lots of calendar work and even cleaning and organizing and purging my studio. Desperate times, man. Desperate times. I have asked for help. I have asked for so much help. The cleaning and reorg took lots of help. Literally all hands on deck at times. I've sewn with friends, both here in the studio and at Sew In Days. That's how I got all this completed. I've scheduled it in, again with the planning and calendar work, specifically time blocking for this part. Keeping my thoughts and focus organized is critical to not overwhelming myself. I'm using my timer and I'm being accountable. Guys, it's out here on the interwebs now and I'm counting on you to keep me honest. And today, a strategy that I haven't really spoken about but that I use often, take the easy win. Sometimes what I really need to get moving is an easy win, a quick, no-fail project that kickstarts a larger creative process. Enter Fabric Cafe and the Three Yard Quilt. Knowing that I need to make a ton of quilts and being in the process of tidying up my space anyway, I pulled as many three yard kits together as possible. I've got this pattern. It's called So Easy, which I'll link below. These pressed fabrics and about an hour and a half before I'm needed somewhere else. Do you think I can cut and assemble this quilt top in under 90 minutes? I've got a full bobbin in the machine changing my rotary blade now let's find out i'm setting the stopwatch now
the biggest thing I want to remember through all of this frenzied fun, I really do kind of enjoy the rush, is to focus on what really matters. The point of 100 quilts is not really arbitrary or sensationalist. The purpose of the, what my husband would call BHAG, big, hairy, audacious goal, is to stretch myself. I knew that surgery and recovery would take time. And I knew that I would come out the other side more physically capable and more determined, and I have. I wanted a goal that would exemplify and capitalize on that difference so that I am reminded daily of where I've been and really what's possible. I also want to make a broad community impact. Making all of these quilts gives me content to share with you, samples to share in workshops and speaking engagements, gifts to share with friends and families, but mostly quilts to donate to others. Quilting is my love language and being able to share a quilt with a stranger, a physical token that says you are worthy, you are special, you are thought of, that, that is what really matters. Here are the results of my crazy 90 minutes. I love an aggressively cheerful quilt. Sometimes taking the easy win is exactly what I need to conquer the feelings of overwhelm and to feel accomplished. I hope this will make some kiddo really happy. You are the best accountability partner that there is. You cheer me on and keep me real and I appreciate it every single day. Thank you. I hope you never forget that you really do make the world more beautiful just by being in it. Now it's time for me to crank up the volume and shift things into overdrive. I got a lot of quilts to make. Don't miss the monthly updates and running quilt tally. And for even more quick quilt ideas, check out the video on your screen. I'm Amy and I'll see you next time.